but it sure is fun but uh, now seriously uh, the way I stay inspired is that usually when I uh, I'm caught in a rut or whatever and I don't feel like playing shit I don't feel like singing and you know things are definitely uh, sometimes you just feel not inspired but what I usually do then is that I um, I tend to put on uh, some videos by Tommy Manuel or you know one of those guys that are just like insanely good and then, of course, I see something that I really want to learn, and it's always really, really hard. So it's, but that inspires me, and that goes for everything. I think uh, more or less in my life, it's not only about uh, playing music. You know, it's also about uh, just learning stuff, new stuff in general, all the time. And I think if you keep learning new stuff, you will also, um, you know, you will also evolve. You know, the way you look at things and the way you carry yourself in general and you know if you just learn something new that was really hard you feel good about yourself you put in the time you put in the work you put in the effort and then you uh, you know your back uh, gets a little bit straighter and you go like perhaps to some of your friends and you go like hey I uh, just learned something really cool today you want to show you want me to show you it's really hard it's really hard it took me like five weeks to learn this shit <laughs> then the guy will probably go like five weeks you're crazy I know but it's really cool to know it though so anyway that's uh, that's the way I roll basically on everything in my life if it's really hard I want to learn it and uh, of course the more you learn the more you evolve the more stuff you can do and then uh, I don't know in my case you become a entrepreneur in the end so because these days I run two web shops I'm writing a book that's more than half finished now, finally, so it's getting there. It's a mystery thriller called uh, Feeder. You can find it and find that on uh, stuffgoodisblog.com, which is a blog that I also run. And uh, a lot of you guys have been asking me about like, is this channel dead or are you doing any music at all? And the answer was, well, no, because of the COVID and all of this. But of course I practiced, that I did do. And just before the COVID, I also uh, recorded a bunch of songs that are just sleeping on a hard drive in uh, the capital of uh, Norway now, like in Oslo. So it's on a hard drive, one of my musician friends there and they keep it. But at some point I'm going to probably release them because I was afraid they would just sound dated after the COVID, but actually they sounded pretty good. So, but of course I have to make some, shoot some uh, music videos, perhaps by the beach here in Brazil will be good. On the boat would be even better. Some rock and roll, driving, I don't know. Figure out something. So, um, you know, it's this stuff about uh, being inspired. I, I think it's also a lot about being open minded, being open to things. So when people say, hey, do you want to do this? You go like, why not? And uh, I don't know, when I was a young guy, I was stupid. I should have just said yes to everything. But I didn't because I wanted to be a dark musician, you see. Well, dark I fucking was. Didn't make much money though, but it was dark. <laughs> and I made some pretty spooky music. Uh, a lot of improvisational music, so yeah. So now about music and uh, all of that, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm kind of thinking about bringing over some musicians from uh, Norway here and uh, perhaps just record a, a, a session, just improvise some stuff that might happen. Uh, so I'm kind of working on that uh, in the backdrop, in the back scenes. So it's, you know, it's getting there. But uh, of course I'm also um, doing entrepreneurship. So I'm also going to, on this video, I'm going to post a lot of videos about uh, probably uh, e-commerce and stuff like that will also come. And uh, I'm kind of stoked about that because I spent now more than two years 
learning about this is, and it's been a pretty heavy learning curve. So, uh, so it's a broad field, but uh, I feel like uh, it's getting there. I know a lot of stuff. So it might be of interest to you guys that are not only interested in music and stuff like that. And of course, also I'm going to share videos about the book I'm writing and all of this. So, so yeah, it's um, stay inspired. Just do stuff and learn really hard new stuff. Then you'll stay inspired. That's my motto anyway, so yeah. And of course, having a big ass amp like I have behind here. Uh, yeah, probably can't really see it, I'm not gonna mess with the camera, but um, it's, um, it's a fender top and a, a orange uh, cabinet, so. Almost uh, 50 watts, you know. So anyway, so it's good to be back on YouTube also. Uh, I missed it. It's just my daughter has eaten up so much of my time, so I haven't really had time to to do much except for like uh, online business stuff and uh, stuff like that because, well, that requires a lot of social media and a lot of this and a lot of that. Uh, it's just like 15 hats to wear, so... My plan before was like record stuff in the evening, but in the evening I'm toast. So it's you guys that are fathers out there probably know the feeling. It's uh, it's not easy, but uh, I try to get enough sleep and then uh, you know just do stuff. Another thing that uh, might be of interest is that I'm also going to uh, um, make some videos about what it is and what it feels like to live in Brazil. Because that's kind of interesting, probably, to a lot of people, I, I would imagine. And uh, I'll tell you, it's different. It's very, very different than uh, living in Europe, to put it like that. Yes, yeah, what can I say? It's just, it's just fucking crazy. People are crazy. But I love the spirit, though. The Brazilian spirit is good. And uh, the drinks, guys. My God, the drinks are just insane. In Europe, they will pour you, like, so and so much in a drink. Brazil? No. They would just go like, and just keep pouring, and then throw a shitload of lime on, and then like some mixing water, like so much mixing water, and it would taste really good, but it would be strong as a, you know, really strong. So I wasn't used to that, and you know, I can drink, but uh, you know, three, four of those drinks here, and I was like singing like a fucking yodeling, you know. So, so I had to get used to that. Except for that, the beer here is, uh, well, I don't know. It's all right, uh, but it's not uh, fantastic. I think. So, but I'll get into all of this on a video of its own, perhaps, and uh, I'll shoot some video while I'm out doing stuff, and perhaps live. And, Perhaps on some marina or some beach or whatever. I'll get around to it. So, but anyway, guys, it's uh, my main advice for staying inspired is to, although you don't feel like it, just do. Try to do something. Try to learn something new. Uh, also, pay attention to what other people are doing. You know, they might be doing something cool. So, yeah. For me, it's if you're talking about YouTubers, I would say. Uh, yeah, perhaps guys like uh, Red Show, I think is really good. I think he has some really cool, cool videos. And of course, Rick Beato. Uh, Mary Spender, I've watched a lot for years now, actually. And she's fantastic. And uh, yeah, a lot of these guys, and of course, I watch Andrew and stuff. That's a must, if you play guitar well. And then, of course, the, the, the Grizzle Master, uh, Greg Cock just watch his playing and I go like, well, you play guitar really bad, you know, so you have to rehearse. And then I rehearse and then I watch him play and I just go, god damn, that's fucking hard. <laughs> but I try though. So, so anyway, guys, peace out for me and uh, I'm going to make another video uh, pretty soon that's a little bit more perhaps focused on uh, one particular thing, but I just thought I'd, you know, give you guys heads up and a little bit of a... Uh, bit of fun and uh, yeah hope you guys are doing well don't forget to uh, subscribe that would be great and uh, yeah I'll see you guys later ciao